has led up to now you're having to sue them? Well, 12 years ago, they started to harass me. I had been there for three years, and then all of a sudden the police started showing up on a daily basis, and then for a while almost on an hourly basis uh, to kick me out of the park. And seven years ago, uh, the uh, they were going to do it again, and my attorney contacted the city and said if they didn't stop, that we would too. And an agreement was made with the... Uh, the city attorney's office that they would leave me alone if I would not sue. So I dropped it. I, I didn't sue. Um, they kept their word for, uh, for for seven years. And then all of a sudden, back in July, they started up again. They showed up. Uh, I sold one magazine. One magazine. They threw on the handcuffs and threw me in jail. Uh, I was bailed out uh, by, by a friend of mine. And uh, uh, they, uh, they, they, they didn't tell me what they were arresting me for. They did not read me my rights. Uh, they told me that I was being arrested for vending without a permit. Well, there are no permits. They don't exist. Not only will they not give a permit, they won't even give an application for a permit. So um, I, I, I had to have enough. And they allow all the other people to be there selling stuff. Oh, I was the only one who was arrested. All the other people that were out there selling garbage newspapers that, that have nothing of any real value in them. They were left alone. Some of them were ticketed, but nobody else was arrested. So anyway, that, that's what they did. They threw me in jail, and, and when I got out, I had had enough, and I went back to my attorney, and we sued the city. We sued the city for first, fourth, fifth, and fourteenth amendment violations, and uh, for false arrest. And that's coming to uh, court in three days. Uh, the, the first the first of it, the, uh, the municipal charge against me is three days. And then after that is the, uh, the federal case for me against the city. Okay. And, and again, your phone's fading a bit, Robert, so speak right into that telephone. Okay. What is the specifics of this case? Is this first case their case against you, or is it your case against them on the civil uh, case in the local court? Uh, whose case is this coming up Thursday? Well, the first one is the municipal case, which is them against me, the Dallas police versus me. And um, depending on what happens with that, uh, we'll lead the direction for the rest of it. The, the federal case is the big one because, you know, if, 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 if I don't stop them now, if, if they're able to get away with this now, we'll never, never be able to talk about the Kennedy assassination where people come to learn about it. The sixth floor will have won. I just can't let that happen. And then that way, they get to sit there distributing their lies to the school children and everybody else, uh, while the director of it doesn't even really believe the story and admits it on TV. And then how dare you try to talk to people out there on the street? Well, nobody who works for the Sixth Floor Museum believes the lie. But that's what they've got to do. They've got to sell that lie. Um, if, if you have any question as to their point of view, just go into their bookstore and try to find any book that even admits the possibility of a conspiracy. You're not going to find them. They're censored, every one of them. Well, Robert, here's the good news. Uh, I was talking to CBC, and they said they found the same thing. 85 to 90 percent of people in scientific polls, but also on the street that they talk to, do not believe the official story. And uh, the average is about 90 percent or 89 percent from what i've seen some polls 92 95 percent don't believe it and so they can sit there and put their lies out nobody except for brain dead cowards are are buying into it well we i see that every weekend i've been down in dealey plaza now and i've been working on the kennedy case for 47 years but i've been in dealey plaza now for 15 years and I can tell you that 95 or not, between 95 and 99 percent of the people know that something is crooked. We talk to everyone about this. Virtually nobody believes it. And when you find one person in every couple of thousand who, who backs the official lie, you find that they really know nothing about the case. You ask them specific questions about any of the evidence. They don't know. And they don't care to know. That's been the problem. Now, when is your civil case coming up where you're suing them? Uh, that, that, that's uh, sometime after the, uh, the municipal case is resolved. Uh, so much of, of what happens in the federal case relates to what happens in the, in the civil case. 
that uh, that's been put off by the by the court until after the decision is right. made. Up. Stay yeah. there, uh, JFKMurder.com. They don't want you to get this information. Uh, he he worked on the case from day one. He saw the photographs. He's got them. He's got incredible information. We'll talk about it in the final segment coming up. I apologize to those other callers. Call tomorrow. I'll get you at the head of the line. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv Is it really possible to get out of debt without payment plans or attorneys? 18 years ago, we developed a program that has made thousands debt-free in just 90 days. It's called Zero Debt in 90 Days, and it works for all credit card debt, medical bills, even collection lawsuits. When I first joined, I was being sued. So I used the program methods, and after filing one piece of paper, the collection lawsuit was dismissed. With Zero Debt in 90 Days, your success is guaranteed in writing. There is no other program of its kind. Don't be alone when creditors gang up on you. Let our team of experts provide the resources to fight back and... And stop creditors in only 90 days, guaranteed. Prevent wage garnishments, bank levies, and stop collection calls with our proven program. Call Zero Debt in 90 Days now, 800-477-9256. And ask for free information from an expert who also completed our program, 800-477-9256. Or ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com, 800-477-9256 or ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com. Going solar for cheap is as easy as one, two, three. If you want to go solar but thought the setup costs were too high, now you can build your own solar panels for less than $200. Don't laugh. We've sold over 45,000 solar do-it-yourself kits. Watch our introduction video at 123cheapsolarvideo.com. The video is free, but it won't last long. Save money on electric bills and get off the grid. Go to 123cheapsolarvideo.com right now. Our website again is 123cheapsolarvideo.com. Hi, this is... This is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. We got a new report out on prisonplanet.com. Ron Paul 2012. Congressman says odds are 50 50. Americans still want libertarian congressmen to audit the Federal Reserve. That breaking news is up on prisonplanet.com. Remember, the system is doing everything they can to censor this radio broadcast, everything they can to block us on Google, everything they can to block us off of AM and FM radio. Spread the word about the broadcast. We're having a big effect. And this show is so key because we bring you all this information and all these other researchers and guests. It's having such a big effect. So please intensify it. Uh, Here's an amazing new express.co.uk mainstream news article. The pyramids, the Taj Mahal, and even Venice could soon become the exclusive playgrounds of the rich and famous, a report claims. The U.N. always said they would not allow the general public into these heritage sites. They're handing over a bunch of uh, islands to the bankers that rob Greece. It's incredible. It says drastic actions needed to protect world heritage sites. Or many could be lost within 20 years because they are being crushed under the weight of mass tourism. So the report expects the influential future laboratory 
for Thomas Holidays says that in the time, access may be limited to the wealthy with ordinary tourists having to make do with viewing platforms. And then it goes through how they're going to shut everything down. See, that's why the globalists want to tax you to fly or tax you to travel. They want to shut everything down. That's their admitted model. Here they are introducing it to you. Going back to Robert Groden. Uh, Robert, well, uh, folks need to stand with you on this. We've only got about three minutes left. Any other big bombshell tidbits that have come out on the 47-year uh, assassination of JFK? Not, nothing really worthwhile uh, in the last year or so, but um, I, I'm hopefully very close to getting my new book out, uh, JFK uh, Top Secret. I'm sorry, uh, JFK, uh, <laughs> my mind is just, a, I'm thinking about so many things. Uh, it's JFK Absolute Proof, and um, I've been trying to get it published now for three years. It looks like I may be getting close. There'll be a lot of new stuff in there, and uh, when I'm ready to release that, I will let you know right away. Yeah, you showed me the photos that nobody's ever seen before, the real photos. I mean, his whole head was just mushroomed completely, I mean, just devastated. That's right. And you've got a lot of other little tidbits in there. Yeah, the uh, JFK's missing brain. Uh, you know where it is now. Uh, it, it just there's tons of new stuff, and, and uh, hopefully uh, that'll be out uh, before the Super Bowl because uh, that's what I've been hoping for. The, uh, there'll be a lot of people in, in Dallas that have never been here before that uh, that want to learn about this, and they'll have the opportunity. Hopefully. Well, they better hurry. Um, so, so, so the book is coming out in the next month. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I've been. Uh, there are three people that are interested in helping me get it out. Uh, I've got my fingers crossed. Yeah, but if you've got to go to a publisher and get it printed, I mean, if they were printing it right now, it might get out in time for the Super Bowl. Well, but that's what we're talking about. We're certainly hoping, hoping to get it out by then. I know it's only two months away, but uh, well, we'll see. Well. Look, self-publish the thing. Print 10,000 copies of the stinking deal. Well, that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. That's the number, and that's the, uh, that's the process. The problem is, since the book has over 1,000 color photographs in it. Oh, that's an expensive book to print. Yeah, that, that, that's why it, it's costing so much. Well, maybe print 2,000 of them then, but... Mm. Well, if you do less than 10,000, it costs so much more. No, I know. I've, I Believe me, I understand the experience of it. Well, God bless you. We look forward to talking to you soon. And stay in contact, because I want to buy a bunch of those and sell them on the online video bookstore at InfoWars.com. Robert, let me say bye to you as the transmission ends. Key retransmission coming up now. Spread the word about the broadcast. Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the silver...